Keeps you fit. Yeah. Hey, Greg's are asking after you. Lee! Oh. Look, don't be so bloody selfish. Both times, okay. Okay, so you had a tough time at home. You're not at home now. Why selfish? Well, look, it's all right. Forget it. What do you mean? Think of the rest of us. If it helps, I deserve it, but Morgan doesn't. Pew doesn't. Come down tonight, we'll go out for a drink. Whatever you want. Just take it easy. You're not exactly perfect, you know. What time? Oh, 7.30, 8. What do you want me to do? I'll go and help Pew. OK, I'll help Morgan. There's a bit of rubble to pack between. How big? If you can't find anything small enough, crack up a big stone with that look you've been giving us these last few weeks. Or grind him up in them terrible teeth. <laughs> Matthew. Matthew! Ah, the wanderer returns. Good evening. Come into the kitchen. Why haven't you been to see us since your return from civilization? Things to do on the farm. Yeah, so Matthew says, and he should know. He seems to spend most of his time up there with you. I'll do that. Oh. Thank you. Did Buana ever pay you for your work at our fiasco of a party? Yeah. yeah. You don't want to take too much notice of us. You're too young to be prudish. We like a good drink. I noticed. I beg your pardon. Ah. Are you looking after himself? Himself and I are getting on very well. Plenty of ice. It may help to cool him down. Keep him at arm's length. Don't let him drink himself stupid and remind him we eat within the hour. Don't worry. Oi! Hi. Hi. Oi, hi, hi. The Indian love call. Or maybe the Queen's English has shrunk to a few monosyllables. Take away the few remaining consonants and we'll all be back in the Stone Age. A little joke. Who the hell was that? Louise. Bit of all right. It's my sister. Sorry. I'm up in my room. What's wrong with it? Can't see any white spot. I've checked for that already. Heart attack? Angel fish are a bit prone to dying anyway. Why are you moving out? There's only two rooms inhabitable. I'm sleeping downstairs. She gets the full treatment. Always like that with Louise. How old? About a year. I only got it at Christmas. Not the fish, eh? Uh, oh. Nineteen. I told you I had a sister. She didn't say she was like that, man. How long's she here for? I don't know. What's all this man bit? 
Trust me to turn up looking like this. Yeah, give me a hand. Why she come here? I haven't asked her. She likes riding. She's going out tomorrow with Bolton's ponies. Treat Bolton. Good luck. Are you working tomorrow at Blyney? Why? Can I borrow your bike? What's the matter? What's funny? <laughs> You're talking. You're smiling. It's a transformation, man. Right. <laughs> yeah, I can't get out tonight, OK? Yeah. Get away, will you? Now, don't worry. Hold tight. Turn their heads away if they're nervous. Walk on, walk on. Get away. Go on, get away. Wait here. Will you? Get away. Come and land. Look, this is not a road, it's a footpath. Well, you're not on foot. Now, let's be sensible. I've got people in this group who are not used to ponies. Well, they should be riding, then. Oh, get away, will you? Let's press on, please. I bet you promised you a gallop along the bottom of the hills. We won't get it. He won't let you, he never does. Take no notice of the fool. Hey, it's boring that way. Boring! Where do you think you're going? Come back here at once! <sighs> Everyone dismount. Better dismount. Everyone back in the saddles, then, as you were. On! <laughs> you did promise us a long gallop. You're the right wally, that bolted. Bit of a mess. We only light a fire in here nights. Who lives here beside you? Just my uncle. Where's my brother? He's outside working somewhere. Tea, coffee, whiskey. Black coffee, no sugar. I always keep a kettle on the go. That was really good seeing you piss that man around. I liked it. Chair. Do you ride? Yeah. Have you got ponies on the farm? Just one. Well, we could go out tomorrow, if you're not working. Please myself about work. You won't get another pony from Bolton. The Gregorys will find me a pony. It's a bit of an accent. Yeah, well, I move about. I don't like smokers. Were you looking for me specially? Yeah. Lee, I like your name. I like yours. Louise. It's puke making cute. I can't very well call you Lou. Correct. Matthew's sister. Hello. Kettle on the go. Yeah. I like your farm. Louise ran away from Bolton's string on the cupboard. She'll be in trouble when she takes her pony back. No, she won't. He never gets back to the trek centre until three. Better get the pony home before three, then. How will you get back to Plas Neward afterwards? 
Oh, I hadn't thought. Phone Harry Gregory to be picked up. Well, Matthew can take you on his bike. I've got a spare helmet here. That's OK, is it, Morgan? You can go early. I expect. The pew down yet? And the boy? Not yet. I think I'd better go. I'll take the notice. He's not used to having people about. He's left for reinforcement. He thinks I'm dangerous. I'll make the drinks. You're on for tomorrow, then? Yeah. Bolton is a repulsive little man. Be that as it may, one of us will have to say something to the girl. You feel a compulsion to speak, you speak. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Give Louise a drink. Sherry. Please. Has it put you out, being early? Oh, it's only a casserole. Mm, ten minutes. And we had notice. An irate Mr. Bolton rang an hour ago. Oh, he's nothing to moan about. The pony stabled and groomed and I paid for the whole day. Man's lucky I'm not demanding a refund. <laughs> Mr. Bolton is a repulsive little man. Yes, yeah, so you keep saying. He'd phoned his wife, too. She was expecting me. Thank you. What did she to say? Oh, blathered on and on about the dangers of riding off on your own. How upset her husband was. Well, she has a point. Nonsense. What possible harm could Louise come to in these piddling little hills? We weren't even up in the hills. I was lured from the common by that strange young man with the accent who was here last night. Oh, we had all the intimate details from Bolton. Did you go to the farm? Mm. Did you see Matthew? No, he was about somewhere. Well, there's plenty for young Matthew to do round here. Matthew spends far too much of his time on that farm. Can you sort me out a pony from somewhere else? I said I'd go out tomorrow with Lee. That's OK, I suppose, since he's a friend of Matthew's. Well, we can phone round. What did you say to Mrs Bolton? I told her I hired the company of the pony, not her husband. And on balance, I preferred the pony. <laughs> <laughs> what you on about, boy? I'm not on about anything. I'm just saying you didn't have to be rude. Damn, and if I'd wanted to be rude, you'd have seen me bloody rude. So what's wrong? Nothing was wrong. You keep saying that. Something was wrong. I told you he was shy. Not used to company and that. I felt a right burke having to apologise for you. Nobody needs do that. I'm telling you I did. I'm telling you didn't need. My God, there's a change here. Ever since you come back from home, it's been silence and grunting and letting everyone know you's none too pleased. And now look at you, boy. I'm the one that's bloody rude and you can't barely shut up two seconds. A wonderful thing, a pretty girl. Well, why be so bloody embarrassed? I'm shy lately. What's this, then? Cash my first gyro from the Social Security. What's none to do with me? Take it. My food and keeping things. It'll buy a few more nuts and bolts to keep this place in one piece. Me should be paying you. It's appreciated. Morgan. Matthew's working tomorrow. Can I take the morning off? I thought we was all for keeping to this list you made. Yeah, I know, but... It's a good idea, this list. Get the jobs organised. You don't want to take no notice of old Pew. He'd laugh at any damn thing. I told the man from the estate we've got a proper list now and four working. No good if we don't keep to the list, eh? I've been bribed, is it? Thanks. Was I being obscurely warned off? What? Your little friend. That weird farm. 
Not that Gregory's alike. He don't like you spending your time there. No, I know that. Comb my hair for me. That was when we were kids. Please. Why do you put up with this place? It's only till I go to Aldershot. Daddy says you're mad. That's his hang-up. He told me to try and dissuade you from the paratroops. Oh, don't worry. I don't care what the hell you do. Mm, that's lovely. How are they? Same as ever. Him rushing round being big and important and her being modestly indispensable so everyone can see it. Look, Lee is a friend of mine. I know he is. Thanks. That was lovely. Fish are cold and useless. I hate sharing a room with cold, sickly fish. <laughs> Sort of lost touch. Me down here. Oh, that's fair. If you weren't around. Oh, right, sure. What about you? I'm not into that sort of thing. I just like good times. I know what you mean. Do you? I get bored. That's why I came down here. When I get bored here, I'll go. So don't let me down, okay? Look, if things work out and we get something going, then we have a good time. But when it's over, it's over. No letters, phone calls, or anything. Boring. That's the old thing, the barb way up. Spring back, couldn't get the iron from there in time. You live. What have you done? Why you jump back at me? By God, boy, you were in a bad way. Not used to it. Matthew gone. A good hour back. Where's the pony? Outside. I took the saddle off. Mm. Enjoy yourself, see? Yeah. I get up bath. It's a cold shower you need. I seen the signs. Hilarious. Now he's taking an interest in the girls, Morgan. You'll have a family up here again yet. Look out, boy. Get off home, you daft bugger. See what you've been missing all these years? Go! <laughs> Need any help? 
put him on for me then. You heard from your ma'am, see? Letter came this morning. I seen it. That okay. Trouble blowed over then? Yeah. Morgan. What now? Are you doing anything special tonight? Can you take us into Brecon? Only a promise, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of you to give them a lift, Mr. Thomas. I'm glad to get up. Ah, here we are. Now, you certain I can't take them on from here? Well, the Land Rover's clean. I cleaned it. Yes, I'm sure it is. And you won't change your mind and steal a lift into the big city? Yes, no. why not, Matthew? I've got things to do. Thanks. Have a nice time. See you, Matthew. You youngsters wait out in the Land Rover. Mr. Thomas will be along directly. Enjoy yourselves. I just thought it best to have a quick word. What about? Look, why don't you drop them wherever you're taking them and call in here on your way back and we'll have a drink and... Well, we'll talk about it then. Yes? Fine. Oh, and thanks again for taking them. She sees it. We're going to see you again tomorrow. Let's get tonight over first. This place is okay. Yeah, not bad. Pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, terrible. So what is Lee Turner going to do with his life? More like what's his life going to do with him? Man of action like you? Oh, right, yeah, sure. It's just that it's bad at home. My mother's got this man, Alan, who's a right bastard. So I just walked out and come down here. I was there a few weeks ago, actually. Tried to sort it out for them. Why worry? They've got their own lives to lead. Maybe they like it the way they are. Ah, oh, sure. It's just that they had this problem. He took off for a couple of nights. She didn't know where he was. So I sorted it out for them. I told him to go back to her. I like your Morgan. He's just shy. Well, he wasn't shy tonight. No, he is. He said it to me. Daddy says being shy is being afraid. He's not afraid of anything, is Morgan. The estate now. They want to take the farm off him. It's been in the family for years. He really stands up to him. I got him to make a list. I'll show it to you sometime. I know exactly what I want. What? Husband and kids and that. God, no. I go up to university in the autumn, reading modern languages at York. I can get a good degree there. That'll take me to Paris, the Sorbonne. Then I train as an interpreter and work my way up to simultaneous interpretation at Brussels. United Nations in New York at 30. Well, if you don't know what you want, you can't moan if you don't get it. Do you want another drink? You're amazing. What you said this morning about having a good time, if things work out, you know. Mm. You're amazing. Then things are working out. Only if you wanted. Tomorrow. Well, Morgan goes out a lot tomorrow. He goes to church on a Sunday and sees people and that. And Matthew, he doesn't work on a Sunday, am for you? Only if you wanted. I'll be there on my own most of the day. If you like. Please.
You're amazing. And hungry. Oh, right. You never take spirits? Christmas? Or when the cold gets bad? Ah, oh, wise fellow. It's just that Mrs. Gregory is a tiny bit concerned. There's young Matthew spending a lot of time up at your farm, Blimey. Oh, is that how you pronounce it? Mm. Well, we're very fond of Matthew, and naturally, we'd like to see as much of the lad as we possibly can. His parents are very good friends. Oh, don't misunderstand me. We're delighted he's of use to you. He won't take wages. Well, very good of you to offer. Well, likes the work, he says. Building himself up for the army. Oh, well, certainly. Yes, I understand. And now, <laughs> Louise, a law unto herself. Pretty girl. Yes, very. But then again, Mrs. Gregory feels, and I confess I can see the sense in it, that we should see as much of her as we possibly can. And this friendship with young Lee is, well... The boy knows how to treat a lady. Oh, we know that she's 19 and appears well able to take care of herself. Would Mrs. Gregory think the boy's common, say? Oh, I wouldn't like you to think of snobs. We like Lee very much. Of course we do. I'm putting this rather badly. Thank you, sir, for my drink. He's loyal to you, my boy. The night he come back after working for your party, damn, and I know he was upset. He was off back to his mother next day, so something bad must have happened. But he never would say. I'm sorry he's good enough to work when you call, not to take the young lady out for an hour or two. Thank you, sir. Uh, let me go and collect them, save you the trip. Mr. Thomas. I know, sir. Not your words, not in your nature. Well, thank you for coming round. The young lady will be back at 11, sir. Safe and sound. Yes, I know. Well? What is it about you that forbids anybody to have any sort of fun? What are you talking about? Louise is 19, not nine. The boy Lee is a perfectly nice, ordinary boy. It's the perfectly nice, ordinary people who turn around and do nasty, extraordinary things. Why do you make me do these things? I I suddenly realized I've got the faintest idea why I was sitting there objecting to Matthew helping him out and Lee. You are so stupid. Eileen, Matthew spends much of his time at Bliney, not here, yes? And Louise prefers to be out with someone somewhere, but not here, yes? Think about it. Do you think I don't? You've never met anybody like me before, have you? There isn't anybody else like you. Don't let me down. Let's have fun. I think I love you. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> OK, why not? <laughs> My God. What? The chauffeur's arrived. Don't laugh. No, don't. Thank you. What are you drinking, Morgan? They serve beer in here, do they? I expect. What's wrong? Cripple for life. It's that pony of yours. <laughs> Funny sort of a place. That's what we think. We've had a wonderful evening. I'm going to come and cook a meal for you. 
I've told Lee. Bet you don't eat properly. What should I call you? Would Morgan be pushy? Which what the boy call me? Damn, I remember this place when it was just a cafe. A shoe shop before that. Come on then, Morgan. Quick history of Brecon. Oh, now you're asking something. Thank you. Made a fair job with this place, haven't they? Come here. I saw Morgan driving down to church. Did he see you? Oh, I expect so. Why? Coffee. What time will Morgan be back? This afternoon, he said. Don't you find all this a bit oppressive? It's Morgan's stuff. And his parents. Where do they live? They're dead. That's one of the reasons I'm here. Company in that, you know. How do you mean? Well, he's never been on his own before. Yeah, that's what I thought. The old lady and the old gentleman. That's what he calls them. His parents. Well, what happens when you move on? Don't know. Morgan's one of the old type. He'll be all right. What's the family history? Morgan's parents got the farm when they were just married. The old lady and the old gentleman? Yeah. My mother was born here too, like Morgan. Why did your mother leave him? I suppose she didn't like it. Once she grew up. That was years ago. She was 17. Morgan goes on about it being a good time when they were all together. And what does your mother say about it? Not a lot. That's Morgan's room. This is the bathroom. Just a bathroom. My room's here. What about that one? That's his mother's room. She's dead. I know. That's what he still calls it anyway. He keeps it locked. Maybe she's still in there. You've been in there? Oh, right. Well, why does he lock it? He likes to keep it the way it was. When she died? Suppose so. Yeah, OK, actually, it's a bit creepy. Her clothes and things. Where's the key? Morgan keeps it downstairs. Go and get it. I want to have a look. Well, there's nothing in there. Well, you said her clothes and things were inside. Well, nothing interesting. Sort of creepy, like the room downstairs, what you said. Oppressing. Please, Lee. I thought we had a lot in common. The way you sorted out that Bolton man. The ride and the church yesterday. Get the key. You weren't going to let me down. We were going to have fun. Don't tell Morgan. Where the hell would I want to tell Morgan? Good God. Mm. 
Windows don't get open much. He's keeping her locked in here, isn't he? Let's go to my room. Well, these are you. Yeah. Is that the old lady and the old gentleman? It must be your mother and father. I don't like babies. Put it back. Morgan might be home early. It still smells of her. And keeps her locked in here so she can't get away. I don't like it. She probably doesn't either. Comb my hair. Come to my room. Comb my hair. Please. It's all wrong in here. Here comes the master. Don't worry. Not worried. Fun. So how's Morgan? Not too bad. Like a cup of tea? Lee will put the kettle on. Why not? Lee? Coffee for me. Right. Cold old day. Come to the fire. Not long till spring. Not too long, no. Not too bad. Not too long. <laughs> Ask the farmer for you. Never take nothing for granted. 
Now, businessman, he'll say, my glass half full. Farmer, he'll say, da, mine's half empty. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true, that. <laughs> Get the boy back up on my pony again. Not Sarah. <laughs> Which one? Both. <laughs> <laughs> where the old lady and the old gentleman are buried? They're there, yes. I was telling Louise about the old days. Oh, it's fascinating. Lee showed me the list you've made of all the work to be done. She was interested. How will you manage when Matthew leaves to join the army? Won't be for a while. The Gregories think he spends too much time here. They don't like him slumming. With their words. Their snobs. Come and help me in the kitchen, Louise. I want to talk to Morgan. Louise? Yes? We managed without him before. Yes, but you'll need all the help you can get if the estate's not going to take the farm back. That pony of yours needs schooling, by the way, Morgan. I'm away. Get out of the suit. Work to do. Morgan? I think Matthew should work here full time. You'd be doing him a favour. You don't think this paratroop nonsense is actually going to happen, do you? Why doesn't Matthew live here? He could use a spare room. Make the boy a coffee. One for yourself. It's a decent-sized room, Morgan. Well, Lee, what's the matter? It is a decent-sized room. Oh, it's a bit stuffy and smelly. But then Lee says you never open a window. Of course, it's cluttered with junk. But there are shops who'll take that sort of stuff off your hands. And it's got a good bed. Hasn't it, Lee? Lee, hasn't the old lady's room got a really good bed? You go now, miss. I like the dresses, by the way. And the drawer with... No, miss! It's just a room, Morgan. Only a room. For a sweater. I'm going tomorrow. I'm bored with this place. What's happened? Have I said something's happened? Well, where are you going? Have you got money? I'll go to London and cable Mummy. She fixes everything. What about the Gregories? You've only just got here. Does it matter about the Gregories? 
What's wrong? Lee is like you. Boring. What have you done to him? Oh, you're not jealous. He's not your very special little friend. Like the one you used to tell me about when you were at prep school. Leave it. Dirty little boys together. You might be. He wasn't very good at the other. Daddy thought that might be one of the attractions of your macho paratroop regiment. Shut up, Louise! Comb my hair. What have you done? Come here. I've done something bad, bro. To your little friend in the hills. Where are you going? Phone Lee. No, don't. They won't want you. Not now. Tomorrow. It's private now, between Morgan and Lee. <gasps> Honestly, I'm telling the truth. Will you tell me exactly what happened? <laughs> I can't help you. I don't need help. Sorry, Morgan. I'm sorry. I just... Hush now, son. I just ruined things when they could be good. Hush now, boy. It's just a room. No. No, not just a room. No, it's just a room. And it's my fault. I like it here, but I ruin it for me. Help me. I'll help you, son. You'll help me. <laughs> Hush now, boy. 